Hi everyone, it's Braylon and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm a special ed teacher. I teach a self-contained classroom, lower elementary grades, and I love it. Uh, this is the start of my fifth year of teaching, which is insane. Like, completely insane. This vlog is actually going to be my first day of school. Um, there's so much information. There's so many things that we did. I cannot wait for you to all see it. I talk a lot about like the schedule, uh, the systems I put into place, the centers, the actual work that we did, some of the things in the classroom, and just overall how I'm feeling being at school and getting back into this school year. I'm going to stop rambling because I really am excited about this video and I would love for you to see it. I really think it reflects my personality and my little quirks and my teaching style I don't know I hope you enjoy it but regardless let's let's get into the video All right, we're out of the house, finally. So I made my coffee, but I drank it all <laughs> while I was like getting ready. Um, my coffee is all gone, so I'm gonna order Starbucks and go get Starbucks. I feel like on a first day, it feels, it just feels right. So we're gonna get Starbucks, then we're gonna head to the building. All right, hello everyone, I'm at my table. I actually had to run to Target. I needed a couple more binders, but they're all out of binders because it's like back to school time. And also in Boston, every college student, like which there are like, I think 60 something university, colleges and universities here, every one of them needed binders too. So there's just like no binders. Um, but I stopped at Target just to get a couple of things. Um, but I'm here. For the most part, I feel really set up. Um, and I can go into more of this after school. I, I really want to take a deep dive after school and show you all like everything uh, that we did today. This year, which I've had this happen to me in the past, I have most of the same students. And so they kind of already like know a lot of those things. I'm focused a lot more on the routines, but I'm not going to back away from the content, if that makes sense. So for each part of the day, um, they'll go through their like whole group lesson, and then they'll go either with a paraprofessional or a small group or one-on-one, -on -one, or they'll do independent work. But that work is not going to be like fluff. It's still going to be work. It's just... Um, like kind of some review work for them. This past week I've been prepping, I've been in the classroom kind of prepping. I spent like towards the be like the end of July, beginning of August, actually putting together my room, which we filmed, we as in me. What took the most time, I, I kid you not, was setting up a schedule. And if you're a special ed teacher, you know, setting up a schedule is miserable so i'm actually gonna pause the vlog for now um it's i'm gonna finish printing some things it's getting closer to the start of the school day and then i will catch up with you all after school all right it's the end of the school day if you hear voices i am past my contract hours it's just after school is upstairs kind of close to my classroom but we did it we finished the day that's all that counts. Um, it was a really good day. Granted, I, I have to say, and I think I said this earlier, I have most of the same students that I've had before. Um, a few new ones, but when the majority of students are used to you, used to your style, used to your staff, and just kind of like the overall vibe, it does make it a little bit smoother. All right, so here's my schedule. It's super small like this. I kind of like it. Um, every time you finish something, so for example, when we finished breakfast, it doesn't even have time. Sorry, it's not focused. Okay, here's autofocus. So when you finish breakfast, I just flip it over and say all done. So that's been really helpful. Um, it's a kind of a long day because my school is an extended day school, but we do have tons of breaks. So all the way down by the, by this point of the day, 
it's all just like chill. I talked about this earlier, but here are my slides. Um, something else to note I talked about also is that this is a touch screen computer. It's super helpful. So I have slides for the whole day. So it goes from like breakfast and then we start in on like our morning meeting. And since I don't have a smart board, it's helpful because I can call kids up and they can help me move all the stuff. It's really awesome, super helpful. And then it has everything for the day. So even down to like, hold on, down to money. Like when we start math, we've been talking about money. So um, all of it. And then I do have a projector. So I turn it on and everything's right there. So for example, this whole week, which you'll probably see in weekly vlogs and stuff, we talk about money. So we have the whole schedule down to, we listen to a song, we do like our sentences, um, and then we've been practicing. I bought this off of TPT so they can come and practice a little bit more. Um, so we will be working on this all of next week as well, which I'll get into more details in the weekly vlogs. But see, now it's up here. So if I wanted to write on this, because it's just on the board, I kind of like that better because you can like circle and write stuff. Um, you don't need a specific program. Then the students can come up and actually touch this. So that's been working really well. And so I talked about this before, but I um, got a big like discount from Best Buy because they messed something up. So I actually got that computer essentially for like $60. It's like a maybe like $500 computer, but I don't like recommend that that's what people go get if you have a smart board at your school amazing my school just doesn't really have them and um this has made everything so much easier so that's kind of how we structure the day so when we move on to the next day we flip the card over and it also is accompanied with another slide and some of the slides are really helpful because it's like oh these two students are going to inclusion for like launching like inclusion and then these two students are staying back for IEP work so we try to like make it as clear as possible and that has been perfect. I feel like I talk about this website a lot but Super Teacher Worksheets is my favorite. It's 60 sorry, it's $20 for the year and one of the things they had on it was this word wall that's supposed to go in a pocket chart but I just was too lazy so I just taped all the pieces together um but it's been really helpful when we talk about money especially today um I made this uh last year I think and I just point to it because nothing fancy we just need something that all fits together and so not only are we talking about money ooh, oh my gosh oh my gosh but we're also talking about skip counting so the skip counting one is right behind. So that was math. And aside from like lunch, recess, I think, what did we have today? Music class, I think. Um, we did a lot of reading. We read a lot of stuff today because the first day of school, I just wanted to get content, but I wanted them to get the routines. So obviously we read this, our class is a family. Everybody loves that. That's a hit. Tomorrow we're gonna read a letter from my teacher and we're going to start letter writing. Again, I have first, second, third, and fourth grade. So I've had them before, and the first graders are on the older side and have some really great skills. And so I wouldn't recommend it if it's like a K2 room to start in on some of these big things, but everyone's situation is different. Um, and then for our main book, like the other read alouds were just for fun when we had downtime. The main book was The Recess Queen. We're talking about that because we do have a problem at recess and um the first unit that i planned the first concept i planned in reading was to learn about the character so i printed these simple pictures from smarty symbols i've talked about them so many times it's a subscription online it's a web-based kind of like board maker and it says the character is and so each student had one of these and that's what we practiced and if they had those sentences on their device like the character is whatever then they also used that so it went really well so essentially i just made them do like a bunch of crafts too because anytime there was a downtime we were either doing structured play activities so they could learn uh what I was expecting in during that routine or whatever, or we were doing like a, I don't know, rip paper and glue or something like that. So we made trees. I'll show you the trees. We made trees like this. I mean, hey, I think that looks pretty good, but we practiced our money. So they cut and practiced the money. Um, everybody did this after we did the song and did the matching activity. 
um, and played a money game. So that was really helpful. This is my example one, so there's no name on it, but we practice nouns because what we left off with last year was talking about nouns. Some students don't have much language, but putting them like this really helped. Um, this was free on Teachers Pay Teachers. I'm not gonna link all of the like products, but um, you know, you kind of get the, the gist of it. So we're gonna keep practicing this for another week or two until they really get it. And songs are really helpful with my students. All right, so we did a lot of centers today because we're just trying to start the process. Um, most of them, like if it was reading time, we would do a reading whole group and then we'd do centers where they would go to one small group table. It was like um, a reading related game or a reading related puzzle. Then when it was writing, we did the same kind of thing. So I purchased, it's from Tara West because I do everything she does. I think it's like her writing centers for kindergartners. I purchased one month just to see if I like it. It's a bit pricey for what you get. It's mostly just like pictures and writing pages if I'm being honest but it is giving me the structure that I needed to get so it's kind of I guess it's kind of worth it for me um, I started my writing unit off we're talking about who works at our school so we can learn all their names I'm not going to open it up because they're actually like pictures and names of the actual like staff members but essentially we went through the book this is the principal this is their name and so we practiced it everyone had it was on the board and we had copies then the first unit of that Tara West was talking about people who work at the school. Like, what are the odds? So it, I put it on just like a tented pocket chart. So one of the centers for writing was working on handwriting. Uh, one was tracing things on an iPad. And then one was the actual content like this. And every day will rotate. So one of my paras manned this station at their desk. And it came with the specific vocabulary cards that I laminated and, and cut out. So they could practice writing these on like a dry erase board. And then it comes with the sentence starters. I see the, I like the, and that is the. And then basically I have it comes with these different sheets. Uh, I'm not saying you should buy this. I'm just, this is what worked for me. So there are two different sheets that I printed off. There's plenty more where you can write sentences, but we're not there yet. So um, they practiced tracing it like this. And then there's one without the words, but just the pictures. And so that was the whole center. They worked on that. And then when they were done, they could choose um, a small toy to do at their seat. The centers only lasted eight minutes because we're just trying to start the routine. We'll get more into it um, as we go on. That was a big part of the day. Um, some of my students, I'm trying to think. Some of my students who do inclusion, they were there and I had modified all of their work. So I'll show you some of the modifications in the next clip um, of some of the things that I modified for them. Whatever the grade level was doing, I tried to provide them with alternative options. So let me show you some examples. So for first grade, they're reading nonfiction books first. And so different, they're reading different ones each day. So the body or mammals or, um, I think the first one was like from bee to honey or like how to make honey. Um, so they're reading different ones each day. They're small. I mean, like they're not reading them. They're reading them together. The teacher's reading them aloud. They're following along. Um, that's part of the reading curriculum. So then, um, my team we made these so instead of them doing like a bigger exit ticket with with actual writing or like content on it they just circle the images it helps them a lot but my students even if they can't read they're still able to follow along visually like looking at the pictures and attempting to answer questions on their devices or out loud and so it worked perfectly good um there was one book that i think they're reading tomorrow that i did the other day uh work on modifying and I finished it today. So I'll show you that next. Um, we actually had to put Velcro and stuff because there's just so many terms in that book. It was kind of hard to um, follow along basically. <laughs>
I think um, I'm trying to remember because I teach, like I said, I teach so many grades, so it's hard to remember the key teaching points for each subject of each grade um, because I have students that um, include in each of those grades. And so I think for first grade, I'll just use this as an example. They're talking about concepts of print um, or concepts of like a glossary and all these other elements. And so um, when my students are going into inclusion, the students that are in the actual gen ed classroom are working with writing those actual vocabulary words, finding them in the book. And for some of my students, that's just too high. So I think this is from, it's called Samantha Kelly. I forget the um, store, but basically I bought it and it kind of goes through everything. So we practiced it today and they're definitely gonna practice tomorrow to be with their peers. But basically like the page number, the print, the picture, all of the concepts, this is a big one front cover, back cover, and spine, and illustrator. Um, and then we practiced this morning. So my students, sorry, there's so much information to give you all, but hey, it's good information. So my students who are going to inclusion, they actually come to see me really quickly before they go to that block for like an hour um, with a para, and we reviewed this. So this is like a simple book, like the lemonade stand, and as you read it, it goes through each part. So we actually kind of reviewed this together. We chanted like what each concept was and that was really helpful um, so that they could go and work with their peers when they went into the reading block to do the modified read aloud book and then to work on concepts of print. I also sent them with this. So when the students had to label in gen ed, they have to actually label the parts. Um, my students instead did the Velcro version. So, um, like this and this does look like a lot of prep it definitely is but I'm gonna have first graders next year too so like keeping all of this organized from year to year helps me a lot because I won't have to remake it the next year but it is a lot um, up front for sure so two other things we made we talked about our first day feelings and I put those down at the bottom it's from made for me literacy I thought they would write their names but they just ended up writing the like emoji that they felt, which was totally fine with me. Then we also did respect. For some students, this was a bit too high, but for some kids it was perfect. And so the kids where it was a little too high, we just had staff next to them and we just did as much as we could. But yeah, it definitely went over some kids' heads, but I like that it's here and I just kind of posted it. I wanna show this board without showing the faces, um, but essentially I have um, occupational therapy, speech, therapy, physical therapy um, on this board. And each day, my plan is to write the students' names and times, mostly because it's helpful for the staff. Um, it's helpful for me too, um, to know when they're leaving. And for some students, they can read this and know, oh, I'm leaving at, you know, 1030 or whatever. But uh, under the person's name, lists when they're being taken. And so some of my students today, I saw them coming up and checking. And that's been super helpful. You can see there's the speech therapy one up there. And there are two different speech therapists. So they know which one they're going to. So there's Miss Martin. And then the other one. So here's my paraprofessional and then um, my schedule, which I don't mind you seeing my name. And so I put down when their breaks are on the full side. Those are the breaks in black and then the inclusion times in blue. So a staff member is assigned to a certain student. That's when they go to inclusion. And then um, that's when their breaks are. And then I don't I get like two. I get a pretty long break. 250 like those are two pretty long breaks but that's because it's either inclusion time or recess time or things like that and i'm kind of utilizing the time that i have it's pouring rain <laughs> my drive home was literally pouring rain and i don't know if i've mentioned this which it'll become more obvious throughout the rest of the school year in the vlogs but i moved and i talked about it a little bit on instagram and uh maybe a little bit on the vlog i can't remember uh but i moved a lot closer to work so my commute is now 12 minutes and i love my apartment i love um, where I am and I love my parking spot. I love everything about it and so it was really exciting to have my first day of school knowing like my commute was short I'd get to come home it's 4 15 I stayed a little bit to film but it's about 4 15 which is perfect and just getting to like be comfy I don't know so I'm just like really happy today um 
yeah it feels like a really good day but i just got here i just got to my parking spot i need to start my laundry i've been avoiding doing laundry so i'm gonna shower and do laundry